Hello and welcome back to another OSS 2019 reunion tournament. This time it's the semifinals. It's from the tournament that happened January 27, 2019. The map is Desolathia. It's a best of three. And guys, have you checked my band out yet? I want to say thank you to Novitrix, Spiff, and Dark Jello for commenting my band's most recent lyric video. You guys are awesome, and I love this community. Even if you didn't comment, I still love you, but I wish you would. And I wish you would listen to my band stuff on Spotify, Deezer, or whatever, what have you. And if you want to support this channel without having a monthly subscription, what, like Patreon, buy at least one song. It would mean so much to me. The links are in the description down below, and thank you guys for listening to me. So anyhow, the map. Oh, I already said the map, huh? Well, we got Ares spawning in as the red UEF commander, dropping down a land factory before he finishes all his mass points. And he gets a second land factory, so that's a double land factory opener. And his opponent spawning in as the orange Aeon commander, dropping down an early air factory and then getting a land factory. I think those came... Maybe after we go, I don't know. You guys could replay the video and see it for yourself. And you could see that Ares is going for a meteor immediately. And Hope, it looks like Hope is in the mood to scout. And Hope is, let's speed this up a little bit. Hope is getting some MMLs. <clears throat> In a small air force. And there's the air factory from Ares. Of course, both players are still expanding. Roughly the same number of mass points. But I think Hope will overtake the mass the mass points here. And whoa, we got a Hehola. We got a transport here loaded up with a bunch of fish dudes. So he's, it looks like Hope is going to drop off a bunch of MMLs. Unfortunately for him, that Hihola is a huge mass investment and a huge research investment. And it's right there in the center for anybody to claim. And I do not think this panned out for Hope at all. He got one mass extractor for all of that for Hihola. And I have to tell you, that is, that's painful. I mean, at least he got one mass extractor, but wow, that's, that's not good enough. And I like how Hope builds a land factory right where the opponents would move their MMLs to destroy mass extractors. That is a really good spot. So it, your opponents have a harder time getting here because you're just going to spawn up some tanks and say no to that. And it looks like Ares shut down Hope's air production. As you saw, those wasps flying over, forcing the air factory to shut down. Maybe shut it down before, knowing that he's against UEF. And UEF can't... Um, UEF, excuse me, Aeon cannot compete with UEF's air production. And I think Ares has switched over to bombers. And I like how Ares is still expanding with his unit, with his engineer. And the same goes for Hope. Expanding, expanding, expanding the way to do it. And it looks like Hope is up by, I think, maybe two factories? Well, now it's one factory because Ares has finished that land factory. And we got a little bit of a battle here in the center. Second, ooh! They cross streams there for a second, sucking up some delicious yummy yummy mass. Dat mass, yo. And those of you who do not like it, like Apex or Elite Bustin', then I say that, you cringe. And I think even Alphax cringed at that. That's too bad. But try saying it with me next time I do it. Because you will remember to reclaim. Reclaim and reclaim. Because it's a very important mechanic in this game. Like, look at that right there. That is, that could be part of a factory right there. Hopefully, somebody 
sucks up that delicious yum yummy piece of mass. It's it's just sitting there. Come on, Hope. Hope, you wouldn't have to wait to build that, man. But anyhow, they are fighting, both fighting very valiantly in the front lines. As you can see, the front lines have been drawn. And Hope, is, Ares is still expanding. And Hope is almost, oh, no, 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 Hope, wait for that. No, no, finish building that first. Oh, Hope. Yeah, that, I can't. I can't agree with that. <clears throat> and nice little... You, you notice how Hope bunched his units up underneath the shield when the bombers came. The bombers did not do as much damage. And shield switching. Now that is a pro move. And at, how many AA towers did he build? He built... Two are, I think, all right. And a fourth land factory, nice. He is above, ooh. Yeah, that mass extractor was control k huh. It was control k before that engineer could finish capturing it, but those bombers killed it. I think that is what happened. Now, it looks like Ares is ahead on... The ooh Ares ooh taking some MMLs to the face, definitely ahead on the mass game here because of that one mass extractor plus, and Ares sending his engineers in as attacking units. Yeah, I would like to see some P shields here. P shields would complement this army very very nicely, but. I have to tell you, uh, oh, yeah, Hope went uh, dual double shields on the tank, on the tanks, but that artillery does some massive, massive damage, and Hope just let that guy walk by. He's going to capture some mass extractors, and it's going to suck for Hope so bad. Oh, my goodness, Ares is just sitting there. No, 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 and Ares gets the peace shield, like I said. And then it, that engineer just needs to build that mass extractor. That's going to be free mass. Oh, there it goes. Every sees that other engineer. That And this UEF engineer has lost its chance. Yep, built basing in his opponent's base. That's why you don't do that. They each have, looks like Hope has two research stations, two Ares, one. And we got a bo bomber scrambled. To probably kill this engineer. This could be a very deadly thing if that engineer dies. Let's see what happens. Oh, if I was Ares, I'd be moving that engineer a little bit more so that those bombers... Oh, sack cap! Oh! At the last second, that engineer now belongs to Hope, and that engineer is now dead. Now, this is a very precarious place to leave... Um, an energy generator. However, you need an energy generator, you build it where you can. And this really sucks here for Hope. Hope is definitely going to be down mass. He's down two mass extractors, now three, and this is being... Oh, is he going to control K that? No! Oh my goodness, Hope is down on the eco game by a significant margin now. That's another mass extractor taken. That's one... Two, three, four, five. Is that no, that can't be five. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six. And if he gets that one, that'll be seven. He'll be up. Everything's will be up seven mass extractors. A nice little point defense. That is a good spot for a point defense. And Ares is keeping his ACU in the mix here. Smart move because if those units could. Okay, he's getting hunker. Ares has hunker. <clears throat> uh oh. I could see. Oh, oh, there it is. And is Ares hunkered? Ares hunkers, and it's no. Oh! It is not enough, because Aeon is a balanced faction. Everybody, seriously, Aeon is so balanced. You could be down like five mass extractors and still pull a win off. And of course, I am playing Hope 
played very, very well and was able to use his faction strengths to his advantage. And in this case, it's really hard for UEF or anybody to prevent something like that because the... Yeah, once the Aeon have teleport, especially on this stage, and it's small... Excuse me. Small map like that, it's it's really hard. Because a really skilled player like Hope will be able to teleport behind your army. And if he didn't kill all of this, he could have just pushed half of it up and then brought the other half back. and it, Or at least get a small amount here and just wreaked havoc, havoc and all this stuff. So it was a win no matter what for Hope in that regard so very well played there by Ares and very well played there by Hope and I loved how Ares used that engineer offensively that engineer could have gone on a tear and gotten even more mass extractors and even gotten in the back of the base that would have been deadly so let's count how many Ares was up let's see he had this one one two three four five six mass extractors up and uh, yeah that is Unfortunate for Ares, but very well played there, I hope. We are going on to match two. Going on to match two. That sounds weird, but we're going to do it. All right, round two is about to begin. And guys, have you checked my band out yet? Come on, I'm doing these videos for free for you. And I love this community. I really, really do. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making all of these videos for you because you guys are so wonderful. And, but I need support too, so if you guys don't want to support me on Patreon, at least comment the things I ask you to comment. At least listen to at least one song on Spotify. Give us the plays we need. And if you are so kind and so wonderful, give us a dollar. Give me a dollar by buying at least one, one song. It'd be great if you bought more, but one song would mean the world to me. So anyhow, guys, it is the iconic Open Palms. And let's see who the players are. We got Ares spawning in as the red Cybern Commander. We see that he went build cost, build time down. And, he, and I think he went for a land factory first and a double land factory opener. And then he's going to get some more eco from his AC. Hopefully you guys watched his build order from afar because I tell you what, that's a pro build order. And his opponent, we got Hope, spawning in as the orange UEF commander, dropping down a double land factory opener. So let's speed this bad boy up to plus five because we don't got all day for no action at all. But you can't see everything that's happening. So I suggest you guys mimic these amazing players because this is... Pretty much at the top of the Supreme Commander 2 food chain. Ares and Hope are freaking amazing players. And they got triple land factory. So keep that in mind. There is no air yet on this map. So there are triple air. So let's slow this down. Well, let's slow it down to plus four. Because we're going to see Ares going for a Cybern flank. It's a little bit of a late Cybern, Cybern flank. However, I think... Hope kept this Cybern flank from really becoming a problem because he built uh, his land factories early on. And watch how he defends against this. So yeah, you can see units coming over and Hope has a defeat in detail thing set up. He, set, he had that fourth tank coming in to take out those three bots, but he rerouted it because he saw this major... This major problem here in the center. And you see that four... Ten, oh, there's another little defeat in detail. We got five bots. See, you only want to engage when you have more units. See, that didn't work out very well for Hope. Now he has only... I mean, Ares only has two bots up here. And see how he's diverting? He's got more bots coming in to try to take out this mass extractor. Is it going to work? It probably could have... Well, actually, no, there's an engineer, so that wouldn't have worked. So if he gets these two bots here and send these units all the way up here... This would be a nice little defeat in detail thing. And what I mean by defeat in detail, you you put your, you combine ute forces, you combine uh, group blobs of units together. So it looks like Hope is doing a little PD push. That is super scummy to do against a Cybran, but extremely, extremely powerful. Now he's got three PDs here right on this ramp. There are no bots going up that ramp, I'll tell you that. But 
Hope is countering with Land Factory TML and PD of his own. Under shields, mind you. The PD's under shields makes gives the HP to this this rapid fire point defense. It gives it more health. And note the positioning of these land factories. Watch how they 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 target the point defense. You don't get to target the things by yourself, but they will kill those point defense. Look at that. And Hope is trying to protect the point defense with his units, but to no avail. Now, I like how Hope isn't building him back. He's smart because he knows he's against he's against UEF. UEF are, I mean, oh my goodness, he is UEF against Cybran. You do not build him back against Cybran because bots do not. I mean, bots are so fast. And are those Cobras in the mix? No. It looks like the factory TML took out a factory. That's amazing. And guys, I want to note something. I'm going to pause the match. And I want to quiz you all on something about the Cybern faction. Look what we see here. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five energy generators totaling up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven energy generators. It is almost ten minutes into the match. What do you think is coming out? What do you think is going to happen? I can guarantee you I know what's going to happen. I'm going to keep it to myself. I think the pros know. But I want those at home to recognize these telltale signs about what the faction is going to do. You don't see a whole lot of energy generators for for hope. But if you did, I can guarantee you I know what will be coming out too. Now, let's move forward. Comment down below, actually, before we get to it. Comment down below and tell us what you think these energy generators mean and what is going to come out. I really am interested in what you guys think. And then feel free to comment again and be like if you're right or wrong. I really want to know if you guys know this. Because I know exactly what Hope's doing. <laughs> He's getting a 12th energy generator. 12 energy generators. Think about it, guys. Now, that's not a bad point defense at all. But it looks like... Ares was able to bag a mass extractor. And did you guys see those demolishes wipe out those uh, loyalists? That was awesome. For, for Hope, of course. But Ares could have microed that just a tad bit better. However, who am I to say I'm an armchair commander right now? And look at that, guys. I think that is combination between... I'm going to slow it down because a lot is happening. Combination between... The Brackman and the M the MML. And look at that, guys. A point defense. Hope is down in the yellow. Hope is... Oh, that is not good. Hope is in the red. Hope is done so. Is this it for Hope? And no, it's not. Hope was able to keep himself alive. And guys, if you said Megaliths, you're right. Give yourselves a point. Comment down below whether you're right or wrong. Usually, when you see a whole bunch of P-Gens and it's like 10 minutes in for Cybran, you're probably going to see Megaliths. However, Jump Jets are energy intensive and so are artillery pieces. <laughs> so those are really the three things you will see from a Cybran Commander if you see a whole bunch of P-Gen. And, oh, Hope has opted for the speed upgrade on the UEF units. Don't know if I agree with that. I think a fat boy would have been a little bit better of a choice. But he really wants to keep those units from flying by him. And, and that is a really good move. I like how there's a whole bunch of artillery. That will keep this whole air, this area safe from being assailed by any bots. Now, P-Shield's coming out. A great counter <coughs> to Megaliths. That's such great game sense. I don't think Hope has seen what Ares has. But he has to know. He knows. Because I see a bunch of P-Shield's coming out. And this is why you don't build him back against Cybran. That 
engineer is done unless he could get it to that point defense. Wow, they were scared away by one tank. But they have a consolation prize. They are going to take out that mass extractor. And here we go, guys. We got a megalith. Look how those P shields defend against the megalith. Very, very strong against the megalith. Against two megaliths, probably not going to last longer than a few seconds. But still, very, very strong. Now, Ares has the obvious unit advantage. And there are the there's an air factory going down. Yeah, Ares has the obvious unit advantage. Oh, I love this. Good move there by Hope. Hope is sending MMLs to take out this expansion, shutting it down as he gets his own expansion. He has not given up yet, but I think Hope might have an idea of where his opponent's ACU is. He probably wants to at least take care of that factory. Oh, nice placement of the adapter, shutting down this little meteor firebase. Well, not a firebase, but shutting it down, that meteor production. And three, three land gantries? My goodness. Yeah, this is a critical mass. Uh-oh, uh-oh, flying bombs. Oh! Oh, Ares took out half of Hope's army, and the rest of that army is being annihilated. I saw that control K coming. <coughs> oh, goodness. So Hope goes down, and Ares wins the second round. So very well played there by both players. And I have to tell you, Ares, that was some amazing control of the map. And that's what you do with Cybran. You keep your opponent contained. You keep them afraid to expand so you can expand and your opponent just has no ability to. So that, I have to commend you there on Ares. And Hope, you really held on there quite well and did not give up when you saw those first Megaliths. And I, I love that. And there were some really good plays there by Hope as well. But Ares just overtook it. And guys, those at home, did you get the right answer of what was coming out? Because it was obvious what was needed. Artillery would have been good too. However, if Fat Boys popped out, that artillery might be too little too late. But Fat Boys are a pretty good counter to... Uh, I mean, if Fat Boys plus all those units, they probably could have done a really good thing if there were no Megaliths on the field. But Fat Boys do really good against Megaliths. And if they got there before the artillery... If they're like one artillery piece and take it out, that would have been GG. Artillery is pretty uh, our research intensive and resource intensive. But anyhow, guys, the right answer was Megalith. So thank you guys for playing along with that. So guys, we are on with round three. All right, welcome to round three, guys. And I'm going to ask you again, have you checked my band out? Please do it. It would mean so much to me. We are trying to promote it and make it something that you know more visible to more eyes you know what i mean we need more people to check it out so it will rank higher on instagram or whatever so please help us out guys i love this community you guys are amazing and join the discord if you haven't already there are people looking to play you that's right you our numbers could go up if we keep up keep recruiting so i am going to stop talking and get right into the introduction the map is way station Seda, and we got hope spawning in as the orange aeon commander dropping down an air factory first with his acu and then eco and his opponent we got aries spawning in as the red cyber commander dropping down an air factory before eco with his acu of course and then getting that yummy yummy those yummy yummy mass points so let's speed this bad boy up because i don't want this video to be too long because what's the point? Unless you guys want to sit there and watch a video forever. I understand. Some people are really entertained by that. So they both have an air and a land factory. It looks like Hope knows that he went one land, one air. And Ares got to see what happened. Nice spot for a radar. You guys see that there? That is going to be... I don't think an MML could easily hit that. Unless it's like right at the edge. That... 
is a pro move. You see that, guys? Pay attention to this stuff. This is good, but he's Aeon, so he wants that extra little bit. This is good, but wow, look at that. All right. Oh, it looks like Hope tricked. Oh, my goodness. So, oh, that sucks for Ares. Ares wants double air, and Hope went Harvogs, which aren't as strong as double air. However, they have AA. And they could be a, a, a huge nuisance. Now, both players are expanding. Ares is ahead on the mass game by one. Never mind. They are, no, no, by one still, I think. Getting a second land factory. They're pretty even on the land units. And I would love to see Ares take out these engineers here. Is that an anti-air an anti tower? Nicely done. Uh, however, that is like 200 mass, so that's going to really slow down. The, oh, no! A long-range point defense. That is so scummy and so strong. Now, a Ares, hopefully he has... <coughs> hopefully he has some sort of counter to that. Is he going to get Cobras? It, does he have enough RP for Cobras? Oh, a bombing run going, uh, connecting with shields. Definitely not what you want to have happen. Now, let's see. Hope is still expanding. Very nicely done there. And Ares has his expansion continued. It has slowed down a little bit because he knows he needs to get all the units he can to stop this point defense creep. The point defense creep is incredibly powerful because Aeon are able... Oh, is that going to go down? And there it goes. At the cost of a an entire factory for Ares. So that's what you do not want to have happen. And Hope could push. Hope could continue to push. Where did Ares, all of Ares' planes go? Are they all dead? No, they're all stacked up. And I think he paused the plane factories because he thinks he needs a bunch of land factories. Now, if he had a bunch of air, he could go around and snipe some of this mass here. This is undefended down here. He could have scouted that and done some work. Now, a vetted mass extractor is down there for Ares. That is not what you want to have happen here. Not at all. And I think that puts Ares behind in mass in hope. Well, no, no, duh. Ares is down. Hope is up, right? Duh. But, um, yeah, if he puts a point defense right... Oh, no! Oh, that is so scummy, but it's so powerful. And, oh, a point defense of Ares' own is doing something. And it could hit that factory. That sucks for Ares so bad. Oh, man. Why that point defense stop shooting? Well, maybe that was... Uh, a sportsman-like thing to do. Stop the PD push. Now, I have to commend that if that is what Hope did. That is very sportsman-like. Not using his unit's advantage to use point defense. Now, you don't see this very often against Ares. I mean, against units. You do not see this ever. <clears throat> a, a, what a, What is that called? Oh my goodness, a snail. Urchu now. You rarely see Urchu now, but I must say it's a great choice because these things absolutely maul small units. So that is going to be fun to see what comes of everything. And it seems like Ares is on the back foot, but he still has a lot of mass points. He guys, he put down a research station. Oh, I see why he did that. To get adapters. Not a bad move. But look at this. The, his, his starting mass is all dead. They are all gone. And that air factory is gone. So if Hope wanted to, we could restart that air, fac, air production and win air very, very decisively. <clears throat> the first Urchin now has rolled off the factory conveyor belt. Of course, it's not really a conveyor belt. Rolls out of the factory as a second one is instantly being built. Now watch how fast these 
Oh my goodness, three and one. The Urchu Nows are so powerful and so good against small units. Against other experimentals, they're trash. Urchu Nows are trash. They get kited by Megaliths, kited by Fat Boys, but if you get them in, in close, they are a strong, strong unit. Especially that forward cannon. That forward cannon is what really eats things apart. Look at how fast those shields drop. Wow, Aerie is taking a lot of damage from the Urchu now. Now, Hope is definitely ahead on the mass game. He is not kidding, guys. He is not playing around. And it looks like Ares is trying to vacate the premises. Will Hope let him? I don't think Hope is, is happy with that. I don't think Hope is down to let Ares walk away from this. Look at how much damage those Urchu Nows do. Look at that. Those shields go down so fast. Look at the now units start going pop. Ares is trying to take out things. We got shields on the bots and the Harvogs now. I think this is it, guys. I think Ares is down in the red. And boom! Down goes the God of War. As he tra training to on his ACU, he is ejected from the tournament. And I am so sorry, Ares. You are an amazing player. And guys, don't think just because he lost, he's not good. I promise you. I promise you, Ares will cream 99.9% .9 of the players who are playing right now because he is one of the top players. Seriously, guys. And Hope is too, I promise you. I wouldn't want to step in the ring versus Hope. Not at this level. I need to practice more if I am going to spend, to even have a chance at fighting any of these guys. So, guys, just to reiterate let me see where am i so very well played there by aries very very well played there by hope i love that unorthodox use of urchu nows because that is not meta guys you don't see urchu nows very much maybe it's the new meta maybe you i have not seen replays with urchu nows but i know the meta is usually shields like that and teleport that's pretty much it either go straight to teleport or shields. We rarely see Urchu nows because they are usually trash. They're usually pretty, pretty crappy when it comes. Oh, excuse me, guys. I was up late last night. No, up early today. My bad. Um, Urchu nows against other experimentals because they're just not good against other experimentals. But they are phenomenal against small, small units. But by the time you get Urchu nows, teleport will wreck them. Jump jets will wreck them, and the what do you call that? The, the fast movement from the UEF will wreck them. So, again, Urchu Nows are just not in a good place. <clears throat> but if you get your opponent to spend their RP, uh, I think Hope really read the situation well. He had his opponent on the back foot, and he knew he needed that one big, strong unit to drive the point home. Because Teleport isn't very good against Cybern, because if he teleported right here, Structure detonate, structure detonate, structure detonate, structure detonate, structure detonate. That army is gone, and it is GG, and hope, and Ares wins. Because we've all done that before. We've all teleported in against the Siren and thought, heh heh heh, just to be structure detonated against. So that, that's painful. So anyhow, guys, Ares is, actually, Ares isn't ejected from the tournament. He is going to the bronze match. So Ares has another chance to win third place. So I think he's going to be against... Who won the last one? Osmos. So it'll be Osmos versus Ares in the next video uh, for the bronze match. And I think that means Hope versus Polar Bears. My goodness. That's going to be something special. So Hope's a great player and Polar Bears is a great player. So stay tuned. We got two more matches. Well, two more long videos for the OSS 2019 reunion tournament, the second one. So, yeah, that's great. I think it's time to end this video. There's our winner moving on to the finals. So he is either going to get silver or he's going to get gold. <coughs> so we're going to move on with, I'm going to, well, not move on. I'm going to say goodbye.
So like this video, subscribe to my channel, favorite it, because that helps me out. And send your good replays to stillspeaks at gmail.com. And of course, guys, do know that I'm going to finish up this week with the two matches, bronze and the finals. So hang tight. I will get to your replays. And I'm going to be coming up with a Forge Alliance Forever replay for the month of April. So don't you worry. So where am I? I have a Patreon page, so hook me up with some cash if you guys want to. If you don't want to do the monthly payment thing, buy one of my band songs. It helps me out immensely. You will not realize how much either of those help me out and mean a lot to me. Seriously, guys, it will keep me motivated. As much as I love this community, it does really feel good to get paid for doing something you love, like making videos for you all. I have to forego. I don't get to play as much as I want to because I'm making videos for you. For free. But if you guys want to hook it up with some cash, I will be happy to have it. So, yeah, comment. Say something nice down below. Say something about the players, about the tournament, about myself, about my channel, about my band, my clan. Just say something nice, guys. So where am I on all of this? I think I'm at that time, guys. Share with your friends, family, and foes because they need something interesting to watch as well. As always, everyone, GG.